Hello and welcome to Tech Deals. Today, ASRock's Z370 Killer SLI motherboard. What is this? Why should you watch and why should you care? Well, in short, if you are looking for a good value for the money Z370 board for one of the upcoming Intel Coffee Lake 8th generation core processors, you've come to the right place. Put this on your list. This is not the highest or lowest end board that ASRock makes. Instead, it's one of the value middle of the road models that provides many of the top end features without charging a top end price. Now, this will accept any of the Intel uh, eighth generation of processors such as the i7-8700K or i5-8600K. However, in my opinion, this board is ideally suited to the i5-8600K or even possibly the i3-8350K. In my opinion, if you are looking for a motherboard for the i7-8700K, the six core 12 thread processor, I would suggest looking at the Z370 Tai Chi or the Z370 uh, Professional Gaming i7 from ASRock. They have a better power delivery system and a couple of more high-end features. And if you're looking for something to go to 5 gigahertz on all 12 threads, look at those. But if you're looking for something in more of a mid-range budget, you don't want to spend $500 on just your cooler and CPU alone, which really probably is a bit much for this board, and instead you want to look at maybe the $250 i5 with a mid-range cooler, maybe you want to run all six cores at 4.6 to 4.8 gigahertz, this should be on your short list because it does have some great features, as I said. It has an Intel Gigabit Ethernet adapter, for example, many mid-range boards only have a Realtek. Lower latency, better driver compatibility, that's a really nice feature. 7.1 HD audio support from Realtek, very good audio. It has two M.2 NVMe PCI Express slots. They are located not under the graphics cards, and this is important. One is down here and one is above the graphics card slot, so no heating issues with your graphics card being above that. The front USB panel uh, support is both the USB 3.0 and the 3.1 Gen 2, which is nice. So whether you have a brand new case with the new USB 3.1 ports or the older 3.0, you're covered in this spot right here. That's what I meant about how it's got all the important features that really matter without having to spend a lot of money on the ones that don't. A couple of really nice features of this board. Now, I already mentioned the Intel Gigabit Ethernet working. The other nice feature is they include a NVIDIA SLI high bandwidth bridge. If you want to run two GTX 1070, 1080, or 1080 Ti cards on this, you don't have to buy a separate high bandwidth bridge, which is a nice value add. These can cost $20 or $30 all on their own. This board, like Pretty much every board in 2017 does have some RGB features. Now it's not all over the board. On the board itself, just around the chipset is a halo of RGB LEDs. And then there is an RGB strip on the bottom if you'd like to connect a standard RGB strip to it. Not the focus of the board, but it's got a little bit of accent there if you'd like just a touch of color. It does have a 10 phase power delivery system and premium digital power management on it as well. So it will support overclocking. If you do want to run your uh, K series CPU overclocked, it's definitely a good board for doing so. It does have a PS2 uh, port on the back. It's a dual connector for both keyboards and mice and will take a splitter cable if that's an important feature to you. And then finally, overclockable RAM support. This out of the box supports up to DDR4, 4266 megahertz RAM. That is really good and better than some other boards. Now, RAM support is going to vary based upon which RAM you buy. Be sure to check the manufacturer's website for the QVL or qualified vendor list to make sure the RAM you want to buy, the high speed RAM, is on the list and been, has been tested with this board. Inside the box, in addition to the manual, you also get the IO shield, of course. You do get the post and screws for both M.2 slots. You get the high bandwidth bridge, as I mentioned, and you get two SATA data cables for drives. Now, there are six ports on here, so if you do want to connect more than two SATA drives, uh, such as one SSD and one hard drive, then you'd need to get some additional cables, but it does come with two in the package. Finally, I would like to draw your attention to another feature of this board, which you will either like or you won't, depending upon your situation. This board is a three-quarter width board. It is not a standard ATX size. That means the final mounting hole is here on this side of the RAM slots. This is not a mounting hole, it's just a hole for the board. So when you put this in a case, you'll mount it here and here and not have a third mount here. 
Now the downside is that means that this end of the board is hanging off a bit and so when you plug things in, make sure you support the back of the board. On the plus side, if you have a smaller case and a standard board would run right to the edge, you're gonna have a hard time connecting things like SATA connectors and your uh, 24 pin ATX cable. The benefit to a narrower board to a smaller case is that it moves these connectors further in and gives you room here between the front of the case and the edge of the board. It's just a point to be aware of. For some people, this is a positive for smaller cases, and for other people, it's a negative who prefer full-size length boards. Both the uh, Z370 Tai Chi and the Z370 Professional Gaming i7 from ASRock are full-size boards, so if that's something that you want, be sure to check those out. Now, I will link all of these down in the video description below to both Amazon and Newegg, both this board as well as the higher end boards from ASRock. Be sure to check those out. Now, those are going to cost a little bit more, but as I said, if you're looking for an i7K chip, go with one of those. But for an i5K chip or an i3K chip, this would be a very good choice. Thank you so much for watching my overview of the ASRock Z370 Killer SLI motherboard. Like this video if you like it, share it with your friends if you loved it. Remember to subscribe to my channel with the big huge red button directly below. Questions and comments in the comment section. And as I said before, check out the links in the video description. My Coffee Lake review, a link to all of my motherboard reviews on YouTube will be down there. And of course, to Amazon and Newegg for this and the other ASRock boards. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time.